pictures, man. I've never really been interested in Sony cameras. There was nothing there that particularly called my attention. And I always felt weird about how constantly they're putting out cameras. It just felt like you were never going to have the latest cameras, because in three months a newer one would come out. Until this thing showed up. It was everywhere, and the specs that I heard, it was something that I had to try out for myself. Luckily my friend Andre here had one of them. And he was kind enough to let me try out the camera and put this thing to the test. Yeah! Bear in mind, this is not a review. It's more like a first impression of someone that uses a Canon camera. Let's start where it matters, image quality. With full frame and 4K at 10 bit, this image is a beast out of camera. But even better if you treat it in post. I'm very used to Super 35 and Micro Four Thirds sensors, so I must admit that having a full frame did make me enjoy this camera quite a bit. Something that particularly stand out to me was the sharpness in the focus areas. In terms of colors, there's always a big discussion about what Sony does with their cameras. Looking at the footage from this camera and what I was able to do in such a little time, I don't see that being a problem. I do prefer Canon colors and the overall feel straight out of camera that Canon gives. But Sony does have its own look, which I personally quite like it. Settings of this camera is very different from what I'm used to, but I didn't find it too difficult to go through it. And the focus assistance and the camera seem very reliable and spot on, which is not the case with a lot of these cameras. And the autofocus was something that really made me rethink how I make these YouTube videos. It's a great camera though, I really enjoyed the uh, image quality. The focus here, uh, really like the autofocus, it's pretty good. Yeah, the camera looks great, I like the ergonomics of the camera. The body is a little small, which is just weird. I don't like that my pinky kind of falls out a little bit. I'm not that big into the photography, but I think it's worth considering because I do have a second camera that whenever I do photography, I would use it. But to have one camera body that can do the photography, can do the video, and can do the video really well, it is kind of a... Yeah. In terms of photography, well, I'm not a photographer, but because I knew this camera had great photography specs, I thought I'd give it a go, and as expected, it did not disappoint. It just makes sense why so many people go towards this camera. In between the different settings, photography and overall quality, this is easily a no-brainer for many people. i always been a Sony user since the A6300. What, yeah. Which one did you have before? Uh, the A7 III. A7 III. And honestly, uh, I just bought that because it has a 10-bit um, color that to me was like the main point. And just to be fair, here's a few things that I'm particularly not a fan of in this camera. First, this monitor. Way too small. You have to use an external monitor because it's just near impossible to properly see what you're recording. Alongside this small screen, this playback thumbnail, is so bad. Sony, please fix this. But overall, it's an incredible camera, but considering the type of videos that I make and my workflow, my Canon C200 and my Lumix GH5 do the job just fine. I can see the desire for this camera, but it's just not worth it for me. Learning a whole new camera and changing my ecosystem just to make slightly better YouTube videos is just not a good reason for me. Maybe in the future, if maybe I decide to upgrade my cinema camera to a Sony camera as well. Or if I feel like this YouTube channel requires a little bit more attention, a little bit of quality, I would look back and consider this camera. And I know I didn't mention the whole low light capability, but I didn't really have the chance to test it. And there's like a billion videos focused on that aspect, so I didn't think it was that necessary. I just wanted to give you my two cents on this camera. But that's all I have for you today. I just want to say a big thank you to Andre for letting me borrow his camera and helping me out with this shoot. If you like this kind of video and you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.